the curse of lust. Silver ribbons drifting down, from starry heaven's moonlit crown, lighting on the roofs in town, and red is filled its all. For on this night, beneath the light, true man fails the fanged fight, with ghastly howls and cries and wails, man transforms and falls. Now he stalks his mortal prey, to bite and rend from bone the skin, yet fate will not be kind to him, he's bound to slay his love. Outside the walls a night bird calls, and a maiden lifts her chin. Shrouded there beneath the elms, the lass can only grin. Unknowing, she enjoys the night, while gazing at the moonlight bright, blushing red she thinks of bed, and only dreams of him. She knows full well the deed's not right, but desire is her mortal plight, unchanging is her mind this night, though the priest had called it sin. On Zephyr's lay a musky smell, beyond the maiden's strength to quell. When beastie seeks out beauty's bell, virtue will unhinge. Though deep inside she senses dread, lustful heart takes overhead, and as she turns to face his charms, she knows his motives grim. As fang and claw rend her flesh, a soul escapes her ravished chest, and in the morbid scene she notes, her lover's silent grin. For conquest doth the beast seek out, the virgin ripe to pluck, and take from her the flower's bloom, surrendered in her lust. He leaves her then to shame-filled fate, tear-streaked face turned up, with listless eyes that seek reprise, of innocence, faith, and love. From that day, and until now, when the moon is bright and cruel, in the forest deep, you'll hear the howl, of the man who played the fool.